magic ham. Happy Monday. <laughs> Happy Monday. Delivery done. Yeah, 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 man. And truck wash done. And showers done. Yep. And a Walmart run done. And a Walmart run done. <laughs> we stopped yeah. at a Walmart after yeah. we delivered to pick up some more water. We had to get the truck wash because oh. it was such a mess from driving through North Dakota last week. Oh, it was filthy. Yeah, it was bad. Just every time you open the door, your hands would get filthy, dirty, and yeah, it, it, was, it was yeah, pain in the butt. <laughs> so we had to get it cleaned. But she's all pretty again now. Yeah. So we didn't get that run that we were talking about last week. The Washington. The other yeah, one dead up head up to Washington, going to Texas. Um, I guess the agents or the customer just didn't want to pay the price for the dead head. And that's really what they would have been paying for because yeah. it, it uh, what originally was quoted if a driver was up there in the area it'd be a great run oh, yeah but there weren't no drivers up there and you're wanting a driver to drive from california up there so which was like 800 miles yeah yeah, yeah so. but we do have another load in the works right now we're waiting to hear back from them uh it may not pick up till Right now it's scheduled for Wednesday, mm -hmm. but they're ask, uh, we're asking them if we can pick up Thursday or Friday, because if yeah. we pick up Wednesday, we won't make it by Friday because it's all the way across the country. Yeah. So we're waiting to hear back on that part of it. <laughs> Touching your face again. Yeah. My hands are clean. We showered. We're, yeah. Um, Got your nice shaved head. Oh too. gosh, I love my head. <laughs> Low when you shave your head. I know. I hate letting my hair get that uh, long. So, but. but yeah, we're waiting to hear back from him on the when we can pick it up. If it's a go for sure. Has arrived. Interrupting us. Yeah, something about settlement statements, restrictions, office personnel uh, at a minimum, and working from home. We are suspending the mailing of settlement statements and any other documents till further notice. If you do not have the capability of viewing, printing your statements from Landstar Online, please let settlements know and we will try to accommodate those individuals. So yeah, even Landstar, a lot of people at headquarters are working from home and as long as we get paid on time. <laughs> <laughs> you start I think to, a lot of businesses are having people work from home right now. Yeah, yeah. Which, I mean, with today's I, technology, I, it's pretty yeah, easy to do. To I know most to... of our agents that we work for work from home. Oh, yeah, all the they, time. Yeah, yeah, they do their, their business from their all home their office. All their business, and... yeah. They have a home office, and they work from home. And yeah. So. But, oh, Which well, is cool because, hey, their social distancing is uh, made easy. Right, yeah, <laughs> they, they exactly. They can keep working. That's pretty cool. Exactly. But we are in uh, Lodi, California, yep. and we went to the Flying J so we could dump the pot, went to the Blue Beacon, showered over there, and we came over here to the Loves to park because they have this nice little grass area over here for the babies. Yeah. And we had somebody come up and say hi to us, another Landstar driver. Oh, yeah, Willie D. Yeah, tractor-trailer <laughs> driver. It was so cool meeting him. Yep. Super for you nice. guys, we posted a picture of of us on the Facebook page, but yeah, it was yes. cool. We it, it's so hard for us when we meet up with people because we're huggers. Yeah, I know. You know, and right now you don't want. You we're don't like want to be we're like anybody right we're now. like what's up, bro? Yeah, fist bump. Fist bump. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it was nice meeting him and meeting other Landstar BCOs and talking yeah. to them and super nice. Yeah. Speaking of Facebook, shameless plug. If you're not following us on Facebook or Instagram, you should be. The Crafty Chucker. We always post stuff on there. Yeah. But yeah, cause pictures, you know, our uh, videos are a week behind. Yeah, so yeah. We try to post more updated stuff on there. I mean, sometimes or share can, information yeah. we come across on yeah. the road. Or, or yeah, you know. stuff that we don't share in the videos or pictures yeah. or yeah. whatever, but yeah. other stuff we're doing that we don't put in every video. Yeah. So yeah, at the Crafty Trucker of both places, Facebook and Instagram, go follow us. <laughs> but uh, man, I, uh, props to the truck stops because they are sanitizing everything. Oh yeah. The, oh yeah. The checkers, they got hand sanitizer right there. They got spray hand sanitizer. There's, like I, I put my credit card in and then it was, it, I was like trying to use my finger to push his all. You have to use the pan. I'm like, I don't want to touch that pan. <laughs> she she grabbed that sprayer and sprayed it down. I'm like, okay, cool. Yeah, and then the bathroom guys, they were just working disinfecting hard. everything, working hard working for everybody. Hard. Yep, yep, and, yep. Yeah. It, it's funny, like, truck driver, it, without trucking and people making deliveries and delivering commodities and stuff, the world would shut down. But 
without these truck stops and these hardworking people at these truck stops and places that even provide us with the necessities we need out here on the road. Yeah. You know, I mean, we are fortunate that we got a shower, a toilet, a sink, uh, you know, everything we need in the truck, food, groceries, all that stuff. But there's so many drivers out here that don't have those amenities and really rely on these truck stops. Mm -hmm. So I, we want to give a big shout out to all the truck stops, even and TA and Petro, I know. Hey, <laughs> they're doing what they can right now, and you know, yeah. they're. It, it would be so easy for them just to close up shop and say, "Hey, we don't want to," mm -hmm. you know. But they're powering through it. They um, are. I mean, they're they're taking precautions because I did notice over at the Flying J, you know, usually they have a little driver's lounge. Yeah. I mean, most truck stops do, but yep. they had all the seats, you know, chairs you and tables. Sit there, and they can, had a. Yeah. a sign that said you know due to what's going on it's temporarily yeah, closed yeah. so and I, people aren't congregating in there and yeah, stuff yeah you get that you got you got to understand that but mm -hmm. yeah right, shout out to texas roadhouse have you heard what they're doing no so texas roadhouse of course the restaurants are closed but you can get to-go orders and they're letting any trucker that can fit into their parking lot you can call and place an order or place an order online and they'll bring it right out to your truck so shout out to Texas Roadhouse, great state of Texas. Woo, woo, woo. That's pretty awesome. That's <laughs> Even pretty though cool. they're all over the country, they're but over, yeah. <laughs> it's got Texas in the name, so yeah. you know. But yeah, that's really cool. A lot of there's a, a lot, lot of, of businesses stepping yeah. up, and what? Well, and honestly, if they want to stay in business, they got to do something. Yeah. I think right now. But you I know? think that's really cool that they're allowing the trucks to come in into the parking lot, and they'll bring out the food to you, so you don't even have to go in yeah. and get it. Yeah. And yeah. I mean, that's that's a big thing, really. That I, is I really think it's huge. awesome, and yeah. hopefully more places are doing that. We just hadn't heard of any yet, and of course, by the time you see this, it's a week later, so who knows what's happening? But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it may be the end of the world. Oh man. my gosh! Yeah, who knows? Who knows? But yeah, shout out to all the businesses that are staying that are open and, and doing what they can for truck drivers. Yeah. You know, without the help, we we can't do the job. You yeah. know, yeah. and it's very vital for the country for trucks to keep moving. Mm -hmm. It really is. It is. It is. But man, it's uh, beautiful here. It's a little overcast, but beautiful temperatures, nice weather. Yeah, it's... I'm about to go chill out on the bed and. Yeah, we'll just chillax for a little bit. Wait to see. hear back from yeah, that agent. Yeah, it's still early here. It's only one o'clock, so. Yeah. I'm sure we'll 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 hear something today, if not today, tomorrow morning. But yeah. he's usually pretty good about keeping us informed. I'm sure so. we'll hear from him in a couple hours. So, yeah. yeah. We'll yeah. see what happens. But yeah, well stay tuned. Let's see what happens. Go where we go from here. <laughs> Happy Tuesday, y'all. Still in California. But we got a call late yesterday afternoon. It was like almost five o'clock. Yeah. California time. Yeah, yeah for a load picking up today for the same agent that had the load we, I think we told you about in the last clip. Yep, it picks up today instead of tomorrow. <laughs> well, hopefully it picks up today. <laughs> was supposed to pick up today. <sighs> we we went there, we got there, what, about 8.30, 8.45 to pick up and sat over there like two and a half hours. The freight's ready, the paperwork's yeah. not ready. Yeah, a lot of times it's the, That's... it's not, the freight's not ready, the paperwork's not ready, so. Yeah. They're trying to get the paperwork sorted out. The guy came out and the shipping guy and let us know what was going on and, you know, said if we wanted or needed to go anywhere and come back, we could. And he has our number. So yeah. there is a Walmart not far from where we were picking up. So we're like, well, we'll go over there so we can let the dogs out. And I mean, they did say we could let the dogs out there, but we didn't want to hold up their dock or anything because yeah. it was not a big place. They got two docks and there was FedEx trucks pulling in and out and we were blocking it. It, so yeah and it's not a big place for like us to park somewhere else but so. but then the guy said he made the comment well if if it, they don't get it fixed well i'll get with the agent and we'll pay whatever it is for you attempting to pick it up i'm like i don't want to hear that <laughs> and if, if we can't do it today we'll just pack it up and come another day i'm like oh man that doesn't sound good but uh, I don't know. It's uh, it's noon here, and they're there until 4.30, so we've got some time yep. for them and to it, get it sorted out. And it doesn't have to deliver till Friday, so... Which, it is a long run, it so... It is, 3,000. Well, it's going to be longer 
3,000 miles. If we go across the 80, it would only be like 2,800 miles, but we're gonna have to go the long route because we don't have to, but I don't trust Wyoming still right now. They are, have a winter advisory out that way right they now. They so. are gonna be getting some snow this weekend, and right now they do have strong winds and rain and freezing temperatures and all that. I'm like, no, and Wyoming, they don't even worry about salting or <laughs> no. plowing the roads very well. I mean, that's why you hear about wrecks every year in Wyoming, because they just do horrible at road uh, cleanup. So. Yes, yeah. we could take the southern route, which is the 40 across. It yep. adds about 200 miles, but... 300 almost. Is it almost 300? Yeah. <clears throat> but if you know if we get through wyoming and even if the roads aren't shut down if it's bad weather you're talking going slow all the way across there and yeah. it just will take longer it will and... take longer than going out of route and going yeah. the extra miles so but we gotta but get picked up first we gotta get the load in the back first yeah yeah we gotta get picked up so Ugh. it's frustrating sometimes i mean it's a really good paying load we don't mind i mean we were gonna wait for the other one they had until wednesday thursday friday possibly so you know the problem is is well who knows maybe they'll <laughs> tell us to come back tomorrow and we will get both loads that would be nice We'll have to see though. It depends on the loads if they can go together. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. But some hazardous shipments, uh, even if they're in separate compartments, cannot be hauled together. So. Yeah. So it all depends on yeah, what it is. Yeah. So. But we'll see. Yeah. We figured we'd jump on and update you what's up. I mean, we, we have a load. It's just a matter of when we're going to yeah, get to get we it on the truck. We don't have a load until it's in the That's true. In I mean, and that's, that's a lot of the times why we don't even talk about them before yeah. we got them on the truck. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Because then we got to explain why we don't or why we do or whatever. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. but yeah, so we're just going to chill here and wait. Like I said, he's got our number. I told him if we hadn't heard from him by like 334, we'll head back over there. Or I think we have his number too. We can always call. We do. Yeah. The we, thing we, is yeah. though, is if it's not ready today, we're not, we can't sit here. We're going to have to go to a truck stop. And I don't know. This Walmart, we've stayed the night here before. We have, but. I, yeah. I, I believe you're not not we're not supposed to but they it's kind of like one of those places where eh, they don't really don't say mind. anything yeah. they you know don't cause a fuss uh you know yeah because the nearest truck stops what 30 miles 40 miles away. yeah yeah so i don't know fingers crossed we get it on today we'll see we'll see what yeah. happens yeah. we'll we'll let you guys know cool From the rest area that closes at 2.30. I know. I think it's called the, uh, is it a coma? Probably not saying that right, but a coma rest area. They close at 2.30 in the <laughs> afternoon. I know. It is a nice rest area, though. But yeah. yeah. But... If you don't get here early before 2.30, you ain't getting to use it. But there is a big, um, there's the Sky City Casino Hotel Travel Plaza right across the yeah, freeway. Yeah, yeah. That has a really big parking I wonder if lot. They, I wonder if they come through and chase everybody off at 2.30. Yeah, or... well, I don't know, because they have gates. They close the gates, and you can't get can't in. Get so in. I would think so. Yeah, yeah I would think they would yeah. have to come clear it out yeah. because yeah. they don't want people staying here. But Well, we still got 2,000 miles to go. Well, we got picked up. Oh, the yeah, we didn't clip, tell them remember, about the we were waiting. Yeah, yes, right. yeah. That's so right. they called us, what was it, about 2 o'clock, 1 o'clock? No, we picked up at 2 o'clock. It was about noonish, I think. That he called us? Yeah, that it was maybe ready. 1 o'clock. Yeah. yeah, it was about 1 o'clock, called us, told us to come get it. So. Yeah, so we got loaded. We've got three pieces at nine, about 900 pounds, maybe a little over 900 pounds. And we are heading to... 
Delaware? <laughs> Delaware. 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 Yeah. So it was a long one. And like, I think we might have talked yesterday or in the last clip, um, we decided to take the southern route instead of going across the 80 and that way, yeah. just because the weather wasn't looking real favorable that way. So we'll be delivering this Friday morning. And then, yeah, I don't know. Jason's got a couple calls into some agents out that way. Yeah, it's one, uh, one guy says he's actually working with the customer on one. We'll have about 370 mile deadhead for it. If I we, don't know yeah. where it's going, so it, it has to be going somewhere good for us to deadhead that much. But Yeah, it has to be worth it. Yeah, so. yeah but no call back from him yet. Yeah, and, it's been really quiet this week. Uh, you know, I'm going through California yesterday to get out of California, it wasn't much traffic. I mean, there was still some traffic but not during rush hour like five o'clock in the afternoon it wasn't bad right i'm glad we got this one yeah i'm glad it's we a got nice this long one, one yeah really good one i'm tired i'm ready <laughs> to go to bed shift. we stopped yeah. here to do our driver swap we let the dogs out already yeah, i'm surprised they... he ain't barking for another treat but... well i already gave him like three so yeah. that should pacify him we stopped at barstow last night and fueled up did our driver swap there surprisingly it was actually cheaper to fill up in california this time with the with the um, fuel tax, yeah. just Landstar discount. Kingman would have been a dollar eighty. Uh, California or California was a dollar seventy one. So yeah, not bad, not bad. And those of you as we do get uh, discounts on fuel through Landstar. So yeah, and yeah. that price is the ta the state tax deducted too. Yeah, the dollar seventy. Yeah, the dollar seventy one. Yeah. So technically we paid two forty three. Two forty three a gallon, a gallon after but a discount. Yeah. But then it's like seventy five or almost eighty cents that goes towards uh IFTA. So mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Jason went in there when we were fueling to get Red Bulls and is like what would you say she was counting them and she was putting her finger on the she... tops. <laughs> I was like, are you serious? Don't be like, like like she had this and she was like counting touching, them and yeah. touching the top where you drink out of. I went berserk. I'm like, why are you touching the tops? <laughs> I put my mouth on that. Don't you know we're in a crisis right now? Yeah, she's <laughs> well. I don't have it. I'm like, you don't know. How do know. you know? You could have. It. It a, have you quarantined for 14 days? Yeah, you don't know. It's like you you're interacting with people, truckers all day long. How do you know? Yeah, that's crazy. <sighs> I know everybody is like all. Oh, all very aware of that kind of stuff right now, but yeah. our next- Still touching my face though. <laughs> I know. Our next fill up's gonna be TA Amarillo, and we are, what, about 347 miles from there? Yeah. I'll be fueling up there, yeah. I planned that one. <laughs> I gotta do that one. <laughs> I planned that just right. You did plan that one just I right. filled up California though last night. You so. did. But we are gonna go ahead and end this one here, guys. I know, we'll... I hate ending it in the middle of a run. I do too, but, but the problem is, is... We don't deliver till Friday yeah, and, and we can't like carry this. Yeah, that would be like a long vlog. <laughs> that would be like an hour long vlog. That's too long. <laughs> and then we wouldn't have anything wanna... for the next vlog, probably. I don't probably. even wanna edit an hour worth of footage. I know, <laughs> yeah, just, golly, no. it already takes long enough to do a 20 minute video but right, right. all right guys we'll stay tuned and the next one we'll get this delivered and see if maybe we'll get another run either for the this over the weekend or get one lined up for next week sounds good thank you guys as always for watching and subscribing and until our next video peace love and expediting wash your hands don't touch your face <laughs>